top eight facts about Queen Elizabeth. Late Queen Elizabeth had the record-breaking reign of a monarch who lived life to the fullest. Even before her father George passed away, she was given the scepter to rule. She ruled for more than six decades and encountered numerous adventures. There's no doubt that the queen had an adventurous life in her time with us as Queen of England. Here are the top eight facts about Queen Elizabeth that you might not have known from her relationships to her interests in a speaking role with James Bond. Number eight. Her relationship lasted 77 years. The Queen met Prince Philip in 1939 when she was 13 at the Britannia Royal College. They had a long-lasting relationship before Prince Philip passed away in April of 2021. 77 years to be precise. Number seven, she didn't have a driver's license. Yes, her highness did not have a driver's license. Yet, that didn't stop her from getting behind the wheel of her Range Rover or her sleek Jaguar. She was the only one in the country who was allowed to drive without a license. That's not all. She learned to drive when she became the first royal family member ever to enlist in the military, where she worked as a mechanic for the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service in World War II. Number six, she used rationing coupons to buy her wedding dress. On October 20th, 1947, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II was able to appear in a glamorous white fitting with her betrothal, Prince Philip. She wore a gown she had purchased with a rationing coupon. The rationing coupon was introduced for equal access to food, materials, and other goods. Surprisingly, she could use the rationing coupons to purchase her wedding dress. Number five, Cabbage was her pet name. While the people could not address Elizabeth outside of her royal designations, in the palace, she was reportedly called Cabbage by her husband, Prince Philip. Robert Lacey, a historical consultant, the Crown confirmed that the prince often referred to his wife as Cabbage. However, this might come from the French phrase mon catipo, which could be translated to my little sweetie or my little cabbage. Number four, she carried iron money. The queen rarely made a public scene without one of her signature Lenoir black leather handbags. Speculation circulated that there had never been cash in her purse, but she reportedly always took a toted iron and folded banknote to church collections. It is estimated that she is valued at approximately $50 billion. In 2015, she purchased a decent three bedroom apartment for $8 million. Number three, she started her day with bagpipes playing. Her Majesty begins her day at 9 a.m. with a 15-minute royal bagpipe performance. This tradition has been used for generations and dates back to Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria, the great queen's grandmother, pioneered the culture. Even when the mid-1800s saw the introduction of clocks to most royal residences, the queen still preferred to wake up to music rather than an alarm clock. Number two, she liked cocktails and champagne even in the morning. The former royal chef Darren McGrady revealed in 2017 that Queen Elizabeth liked to drink every day. She would sip on a Dubonnet cocktail and a smooth gin with lemon and ice right after being entertained by the royal bagpipes. She would also step down her lean protein lunch with a glass of champagne or wine. The late Queen Elizabeth enjoyed her evening with a Pimm's liqueur, Bacardi rum, and Balmer's cider. Number one, she wanted a speaking role with Bond. In 2012, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II made a cameo appearance with actor Daniel Craig in the London Opening Olympic Ceremony. She also took on a speaking role for the new film, The Other Side of the Coin, The Queen, The Dresser, and The Wardrobe. Just like the rehearsal is done before production begins, Queen Elizabeth made a recited line during the filming. The line read, Good evening, Mr. Bond. That's all we have for today, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more. Thank you for watching.